Nancy Drew in The Secret of the Whispering Walls. anything. Who was in here? King Kong? Grandfather's desk. Dad's really going to be upset. Shh, listen. Nancy's coming back. Yeah, I'll tell you later, hon, after my double vision goes. Hi, George. I'm sorry, Mr. Drew. I really didn't... <laughs> Stop. Listen, uh, the main thing is that the two of you are okay. You know, I, I think you're very fortunate young ladies. And I'll, uh, I'll find out what's missing after I've gone through all of these files and folders. There seem to be several files missing. Hmm, that's odd. Well, now, that's a nuisance. What's a nuisance? Well, I can't find the folder on the sale of Aunt Ruby and Aunt Leela's farm. It has no intrinsic value. Now I'll have to go up to the Capitol and get the sale documents replaced. Well, I thought that sale was all wrapped up. Well, not until we close escrow tomorrow. We can't do that without those papers. You'll have to call Aunt Ruby and tell her. I don't envy you that. Yeah. Carson, I thought you said it was all settled. Yeah, I know, Aunt Ruby. Aunt Leela? Oh, right here, Carson. Good. Now, look, it's not going to delay your moving out all that much. Uh, I'm on my way up to the Capitol this morning, and, and Nancy's coming up to explain to you what's happened. Now, I know Mr. Warner is not going to like it either, but you mustn't let him take possession until it's all legal. And, and, and I promise you, I'll, I'll be there with the papers in a matter of hours. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Carson. 
Well, they're upset, but I know they'll calm down when you get there. So your Aunt Ruby was married to a real Southern gentleman. Wow, what a life they must have lived. It was a long time ago. I'm just filling you in on these things, so if at first they seem a little strange to you, you'll understand. <laughs> what do you mean, strange? I'm sure it's nothing. If it's nothing, you sure did agree to come up here in an awful hurry. Well, there is one thing about their selling their farm that gives me pause. Don't pause when you're telling me about things that give you pause. What gives you pause? I never cared much for Dinko Warner. <laughs> Dinko what? He's the farmer who's buying the place. When I was a kid, I used to come up here, and he'd scare me to death with his tractor. Oh, inadvertently, you mean? No, on purpose! Nancy, watch out! Trespassing. Trespassing? Just who do you think you are ramming that machine at my car on my aunt's private property? We should call the police to have his tractor revoked. I think I'll do that. Your aunt? You're that skinny Drew kid used to come around here summers? Yes. You're that ornery old farmer who used to try and ruin my summers, scaring me out of my wits. Well, didn't you just turn out to be quite the lady? I don't like this angle, Nancy. Let's get out of here. Nobody's going to chase me off my aunt's property. My property now. Not until escrow closes. Ah, escrow closes noon today. So get. Escrow does not close at noon today, so get my car out of this ditch. What you say? I said, why don't you hook up your tractor and pull my car out? I mean, before that, the part about the escrow not closing. You better be joking. Well, there's been a temporary delay. The papers were stolen. Stolen? By who? Well, we don't know. Somebody broke into our house last night. That sounds fishy to me. It looks like you're getting ready to move in instead of those old birds getting ready to move out. We're going to stay overnight. My father's at the Capitol getting new papers. I don't believe a word you're saying. Those old buzzers just changed their minds again. We'll see if they get away with that. And if I were you, I'd just turn around and go right back where I came from. Well, what about my car? Yeah! Mr. Warner! He's really attractive. You laugh. It's a long walk to my aunt's house. Let's get the bags. It's been too oh, long. I know. Oh, my. Leela, Leela, where is that woman? Coming. Oh, Nancy. Dear, we have missed you so. <laughs> That's my friend George Fane, Aunt Leela. Is there something you want, Mr. Warner? I warned those two young women. Just remember, anything happens to them in this whole house. It's on your conscience, not mine. What did he mean by it, if anything happens to us? Oh, it's just his way of scaring people off with wild stories. Not so wild. I have heard those demons, and I have seen them. Demons? Yeah, pink elephants, purple spiders. Yeah, generally after she's had one of her coughing spells. Yeah, she can joke. But there's spirits that want us to stay in the house. I'm deadly serious. You'll find out, Nancy. Nancy, come. I want to show you to your room. Oh, I have missed you so. Never mind. We'll straighten her out later. Did you two girls walk all that way? Well, no. My car stuck back there, thanks to Dinko Warner. That man. Well, never mind. When Walter gets back, he'll fetch it for you. You know, we're just about to move. You're going to have to take potluck with food and bedding. Oh, that's all right. Just seeing you and Aunt Leela is all the comfort I need. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I 
I still don't get it, Mr. Drew. All the valuable stuff you've got in your office, and someone makes off with nothing worth anything we can think of. If Nancy were here, she'd say it's obvious that we're overlooking the obvious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It's obvious this joker behind you doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, what's the matter with him? things the bees are thriving oh miss ruby you'll embarrass us talking like that oh we're going to miss you and walter <laughs> wasn't that beef wellington the best you ever tasted Mm-hmm. yes you know i don't care for that mr warner you'll see he's not going to keep his promise about the bees oh he will or he'll be breaking the law well, it's all in those papers that carson's getting isn't that so nancy well, Mr. Warner's legally committed to maintaining the bees in the same condition they've been turned over in. Thank you, Walter. At Leela's cough tonic. <coughs> Shouldn't you heard from your dad by now? Well, going through all those dusty old records and red tape. Well, just in case, Sylvia better turn your beds down. Not that you'll get much sleep. Or on account of the ghost, you mean. <laughs> A ghost couldn't get any rest around here the way your Aunt Leela talks in her sleep. That is not true. I hear them through the walls. They still don't want us to sell the farm. And you know they never did. <laughs> that tonic is what makes you hear ghosts. All right. We'll wait and see if I hear them when we get to our new place. You know, girls, we are moving to the desert. Oh, Arizona? Las Vegas. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm I'm so glad you're here. If we get out of this spooky house, we can live it up in Las Vegas. Lee. <laughs> oh, I, we need there. you to enjoy ourselves, Ruby. Don't you like? Uh, Miss Fane, Miss Drew, may I get you anything else? Oh, we're fine, thanks. Good night. Good night. Uh, Mr. Tobin. Oh, Walter, please. Uh, Walter, have you heard the ghost Saint Lila was talking about? I'd really rather not say, miss. But why? Have you heard anything? Actually, no. Ah, good. Sylvia and I live in the cottage out back. But if I may say, Miss Drew, I wish your aunts hadn't sold. I'm not sure they'll be happy moving away from their home. You care for them a great deal, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. And the honey market is growing all the time. This place will soon be on a paying basis. What is it you think Aunt Leela hears? If you'll excuse me, miss, I have to check the rest of the house. Good night. Of course. Nancy. We could wear garlic charms. They ward off ghosts. And everybody else, George. I wonder why we haven't heard from Dad. Oh, I'm sure he's fine in a nice, warm, comfortable hotel. Good, Ned. You're just in time to take this away. Well, at least you feel well enough to complain about the food. They call that food. Well, apparently, they don't want you to eat any solids till they finish with your x-rays in the morning. Yeah, well, I'm fine. I'm... Oh. Uh-huh. Well, maybe I did twist my back a little. Right, let me help you. No, 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 no. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'll tell you how you can help. I want you to call Nancy first thing in the morning and tell her that we're tied up. And then I want you to get a hold of those deeds as soon as you can. You don't want me to tell her about the accident? No. No, see, if you call her, then the accident needn't come up at all. I want to do some checking before I start to worry her. And what kind of checking? On the deeds. And why? What's wrong with the deeds? I think it's odd that we've had two, shall we say, unfortunate incidents in the last 24 hours concerning the purchase of that property. You begin to get the feeling that maybe someone wants to stop it. No, I don't get it. The only person even interested in the property is the one who's most anxious for us to close the sale. That's right. It doesn't make any sense at all that he tried to stop me filing the deed. But that truck didn't stop. Now, Mr. Drew, that was just plain hit and run. Now, that truck could have killed us. Now, no one could be that desperate for your aunt's property. Can you guarantee that nobody is that desperate, Ned? Explanation, George. There has to be something coming from some place. Let's find out what it is. Do I sense a little reluctance? Yeah, you sense a lot of reluctance. Do you want to change rooms for the rest of the night? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Yes. That's what I like, indecision. Okay, but if I leave, I want you to keep an eye on my aunts. Leave? I'm going to do some investigating. I'm going to get dressed. There has to be a reason why. You always have to know what it is, don't you?
Sleep. I was just going for a walk. This time you're on my property. Was that a shootable offense? Trespassing is. Oh, I must have missed the fence in the dark. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. If my aunts miss me, they might worry. You know how they are. I know. It's nice talking to you. Just gonna have to do something about that meddling girl. They're up to something, that Nancy Drew and her friend. I'm up here to persuade the two old gals not to go through with the deal. I know it. I can feel it. What are you gonna do about it? You're running out of time. George, what are you doing out here? You're not sleeping in either of those rooms. You're a real comfort, George, in times of stress. Well, where were you? I went back to your room and you disappeared. I took a shortcut to Dinko Warner's place. There's a whole series of tunnels beneath this house. And lights blinking on and off. In the tunnel? No, on this farm. You should hear the sounds down there. <sighs> no, thanks. It's fantastic. Like something from another planet. Yeah? First thing tomorrow morning, we're going to get to the bottom of these strange goings-on. Sleep tight, George. Yes, it is. Just a moment. Nancy! Nancy! It's for you, dear. It's a man. Thank you. Daddy? No, Nance. It's me. Ned, where are you? Why are you calling? I thought you'd be here early this morning, especially when you didn't call. Uh, well, nothing's wrong. Who said anything was wrong? I mean, the reason we're not there, it's, uh... It's nothing to worry about. Okay, Ned. What's happened? Is Daddy all right? Why didn't he call me? Ned, I want the entire truth out of you. Dad never calls me when there's something he doesn't want to tell me because he can't lie to me. So what is it? What's happened? Oh, for crying out... 
Why do I always have to be in the middle? All right. Something's wrong. But it's nothing serious, I think. Ned? He's in the hospital with a slight back sprain from a truck that ran us off the road. What truck? A uh, blue job. I only got the letters off the plate, uh, BLA. So far, I haven't been able to trace it. Uh, we don't have any proof that it has anything to do with the missing deeds. Ned, if you're leaving anything out... Leaving anything out? You've already caught me out of more than even I know. So far, it may be nothing but a coincidence. But your father is checking it out. Well, maybe there is more to the purchase of your aunt's farm than we know about. Well, I think Dad's on the right track. Things have been happening here, too. Uh, yeah? Well, what kind of things? I haven't figured them out yet, but I will. I'm going to do a lot of investigating today. Tell me where you are so I can fill you and Dad in. You'll hear from me. Bye. Okay, Ned. I'll call you when I know more. Goodbye. No one. This phone is warm. <laughs> You're no kidding. You have a fetish for not using warm phones? Someone was listening in on my conversation with Ned. <laughs> it's been really exciting for him. George, it isn't funny. Dad's in the hospital, and I think it has something to do with this place. What time will Carson be here? Oh, he's been unexpectedly detained. Oh, again? My, what is that nephew of ours up to? Aunt Leela, I discovered a very interesting fact about this place last night. What is that, dear? The basement. There was an underground tunnel leading from my bedroom. Oh, this house is a catacomb of tunnels. They used to use it for smuggling. You know, back in the 1890s? Oh, but they've been sealed up for years. I'm sure you didn't get very far. Oh, but those caverns, they can be dangerous. No one's gone in there for years. Oh, no, I wouldn't go down there again if I were you. Oh, Walter forgot to take out the trash. We told him we wanted it burned this morning. I saw a light in an upper window last night. And a truck. Oh, a truck. Well, I guess it was one of the honey trucks. Yes, they come and go at all hours. We'll take the trash out for you, Aunt Ruby. Where does it go? Walter burns it back of that grove of trees. We can't take chances on setting fire to any of the buildings, especially now that we've sold the place. We'll be careful. grow on trees. What? How'd that get up there? If I knew the answer to that question, I might know the answer to some of the other things around here. I don't understand. I don't either. Yet. Sure. A leaf? Is it? Isn't it? We'll see. Let's get rid of the garbage and get back. Walter's truck. So? I'm going to check out the barn. I'll go put these in your room.
entrance to the tunnel. What are you looking for, Miss Drew? What are you looking for? Well, I was looking for you. I, uh, I found this when I was out taking some trash out for Aunt Leela. I know you're the only one who works out there. I figured it might be yours. Oh, yes. Yes, $20 is a lot of money to lose. Thank you. My pleasure. What's that mixture made of? Nail polish, lemon juice, and alcohol. <laughs> what can that do to you? I don't know, but let's keep it away from Aunt Leela. Where'd you get that one? Same place. Oh, I've got it. That man's been burning your aunt's money so they'd be so poor they'd have to sell the ranch. Nice try, George. Only there's one problem with your theory. What? Both these bills have the same number. Oh, that's impossible. Something else. What? Something else has been bothering me. I'm going to show you tonight. number of the truck that ran dad down. Nancy, we gotta call the police. First, we need some proof of what's going on. It has to do something with your aunt not selling the farm. That's not exactly an airtight case, George. Come on, we're not gonna learn anything here. This way. We'll go just follow the sounds. I'm watching out for my interests. Listen. What is they up to? I don't know. But that's my property now, and everything underneath it as well. Give me the lantern! Dinko! Dinko!
Put your stamp here. The sounds are coming from all over the place. These caverns go in every direction. You can't expect me to get it first time. I tell for second and third. As long as it takes us back to River Heights. Raising noisy mushrooms. Doesn't take a block and tackle to get mushrooms out of the ground, George. Fine. This is Paul. Get it over the hoist. Great. Well, how's it coming here? We should have the last of it within another hour. We'd have been out of here days ago if that shipment of paper had arrived on time. If they hadn't sold this place, there'd be no pressure at all. A million dollars is worth a little pressure. That's a fair enough share for the 40 million we're delivering. Prime product headed for Europe, and we don't have to worry about passing a nickel of it. Well, it seems a shame to leave all this equipment behind. Oh, well, there won't be any equipment, darling. Just a collapsed cavern. It'll be under 10,000 pounds of rock. It'll take them years to dig it out. Here's my property. Hello, Dingo. What are you doing at the Hey, hey let me go. Oh, it's me. What are you doing about my property? Just like Dingo. Watch the Let's move back. All right, come on. We're getting out of here. But there's still a lot more to go. Take what we got in the van. Can't take a chance. Somebody followed him down. We can't just leave him here. We have no choice. Where? I'm back down the cavern. Yell. My aunts will hear you. Tell them to call the police and go to the bar. What are you going to do? As soon as I leave, I'm going to set Mr. Warner free. They're going to blow this place up. Nancy, don't worry. I'll be right behind you. Go on. for Nancy Drew. Leela! Call the police! What was that? What was what? Miss Coot! Call the police! 
George, is that you? Ned! Uh, call the police! Uh, Mr. Drew had me call them. They're on their way. George, where are you? Where, are, where is he? I wish I knew. Just get the police to the barn. And if you don't find anything, go to Dinko's well. <laughs> <laughs> this young lady is talking about. We were looking for her. She was lost in the tunnels. My husband and I work for her aunt. Officer, they're counterfeiters, and I can prove it. If you'll just listen. A young lady, just what are you talking about? What? Everybody's going to miss them for a long, long time, thanks to Ned's quick thinking. Oh, uh, now, all I did was remember the letters off the license plate. You're the one that recognized us from this county. Well, you called the police. Ms. Coat! Come in. Uh, Mr. Warner. I take it you're ready to close escrow? Tell him, Dinko. Well, not exactly. 
Doris says, after what your daughter did for me, it ain't right taking advantage. Your aunts didn't know it, but there's a development company that's going to buy both these places. Didn't know that myself till yesterday. What Dinko means is the farm is worth twice what he was going to pay. But now we intend to share equal. That sounds very fair. Well, it certainly does. My... We'll have twice as much money when we get to Las Vegas. Oh, oh, oh Nadio, will you please pass me my tonic? <laughs> yes, Aunt Leila. 